Let me show you inside the mind of an NFL quarterback and show you what a QB has to process in the matter of mere seconds. Let's take a look at this play from the 49ers in week one. In the red zone, the Steelers are playing zone with seemingly seven defenders in coverage. Meanwhile, the Niners only have two receivers running routes, so it should be a mismatch in favor of the Steelers. But look at this play concept. It's a double post. The play action takes away the linebacker. Debo Samuel runs an inside post, and Purdy is watching this safety safety right here. Does he pass off Debo to another defender and stay in that window? Or does he go with him and leave that space open? Number 23 goes with Debo, and Ayuk has an open window. But why does the safety bite? Because of Purdy's eye manipulation. Safeties are always looking at the QB's eyes, and quarterbacks know it. So Purdy keeps his eyes on Debo until the safety goes with him, and Ayuk then pops wide open. I know Patrick Peterson falls down here, but he had outside leverage against Ayuk and likely wouldn't have gotten there once IU cut inside. To have two receivers running routes, six defenders in coverage, and Brandon Ayuk still gets wide open. That's called good play calling, and just the simplest example of what a QB has to process on a typical play. Because in just a few seconds, Purdy had to read what coverage the defense is in pre-snap, then see what the defense does post-snap, and don't forget that Purdy's actually at a disadvantage because his back is turned on play action. Then notice that Minka Fitzpatrick is blitzing from the right side. Manipulate the safety with his eyes and look back at Ayuk for a split second before delivering a dart touchdown. Imagine how much more difficult this would have been if there was five receivers running routes instead. The defense disguised what coverage is in until after the snap and a 300 pound lineman is barreling down on you. 